Hey everybody, look at what we came across. This is a 1967 Chevelle race car, dirt track, oval track, stock car. Um, unbelievable. This is, this is an re original legit race car. Um, this thing saw the track for a long time, yet it somehow managed not to get destroyed. Um, you can see here at one time that all kinds of different spots for hood pins under the hood. You can see all the bracings been removed to keep the hood nice and light. Inner fenders removed, small block Chevy, HEI added to it. Um, I haven't run any numbers on this Chevy. I have no idea what it is, but you know, I bet it's pretty hot because whatever class this was in, they allowed a Holly carb and they allowed the HEI. So it was probably a, a decent class. This bar up front, um, push bar in case you get in a wreck. Um, I used to race up north, uh, oval track, but, but asphalt. So this is a little bit new to me. It's in the woods here. So it's, it's a little different, difficult to navigate, but you can see the stock wheels. Um, those are Chevy rallies. They're a little bit deep. They're probably seven or eight inch. It's an amazing shape, really, for a stock car. These get dented up very easily. Come on in here. You can see the welded up doors. And the inside. This is really, really neat, of course. The dash has been redone um, just for function. It's got some switches here, probably ignition and this start, no doubt start. Look down there. What's that? The fire extinguisher? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Um, some kind of foam back here. I don't know what that was for. Tack on the dash. Look at the old window ribbon. This probably a date on that, and I'll be able to date this thing by that window ribbon. Um, maybe on these seat belts too, they might be dated. Now is this the radiator to the car? Uh, I think or it's got it a just... radiator in it, but it might be. It might... Oh, look at this, look at this. Oh, wow. Look at that. Wow, that's cool. It's even got a little bit of shine left in it. We gotta put that on. This of course is the quick release. Um, you just move that and the wheel pops off one year when I was racing last, last race of the season, last turn, turn four of the last lap. I was coming around the turn hard and I hit this button and the steering wheel popped off in my hand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I still finished third, <laughs> but it wasn't a pretty third. Oh, this, is, this has been sitting here for a while. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's on the ground. It is on the ground. It's been here a very long time. Here's a hood pin on the trunk. Looks like that washer is... That washer is fr frozen, just rusted solid to that hood pin. So I can't open the trunk. I'll have to get it open, though, because I think the battery goes in there. Chevelle bumper, I think, looks pretty good. I have to be a little careful here. And look at how straight that is for a race car. Oh. Let me take it from here. I mean, look at that. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I, I've never seen an old stock car quite that straight. In the driver's seat is the roll cage. I wonder if there's a date on these belts. I don't see any date. And unfortunately on this, it's all worn away. 
so there's no date that I can read, unfortunately. Sun tack and the dash, It'd be cool if that still works. But anyway, this is it. We're gonna see if we can get this thing running. And if we can get it running and pump the tires up, believe it or not, we're gonna see if we can get it out of here. Oh, what's this got for a transmission? I didn't even check that. Yeah, I don't see that it's worn out. I can't see the date that I think That piece of angle iron in the floor Might be the shifter because I don't see any shifter in this thing But it is a stick It's not an automatic Which makes it even cooler So We're gonna get started on it right away because it's not early in the day So we're gonna get started So I'm cleaning out the seat. It's full of leaves and stuff. Look at that. Oh, no. That's what's left of the seatbelt. That's how long this thing has been sitting here. I have never seen that. The seatbelt just disintegrated. That means this has been here maybe even longer than I thought. I don't know how long that would take to do that to a seatbelt. Yeah, you know what? It might have a date on it. I just thought of this. What? The fire extinguisher. Oh, yeah. Might. Yeah. Might. Maybe we'll go over there and check it out. Yep. All right, we got the hood cleaned off. Um, it had a lot of stuff on it, a lot of stuff. But now that we got it clean, it's much easier to prop up. The radiator is in it. Um, it's got HEI, holy carb. Um, was it? What must have been. Uh, must have been a good racing class because it's allowed it they allowed headers holy carb hei a lot of different stuff um so here's the plan let's check if it's seized first off it's not it's not seized at all that's amazing it is amazing it's not seized at all um interesting it doesn't appear they were running an alternator huh okay um so here's the plan. Um, I'm gonna take the oil. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's see that. It's dark. It's very dark, but it's dripping. It's not bad. It's dripping. It doesn't it's, look like there's water. It's dark. Either. No, I don't see any water. So the plan, we're gonna pull all these plugs and put oil in there because we don't. Uh, I don't want to scratch anything by turning this. So I'm not gonna turn it anymore until I get the oil in. And you know, it's funny, I don't know if you guys can see this. So the sun is shining right down on the Chevelle like an angel, just smiling down on it. Yeah, this one came right out, wasn't super tight. Let's take a look at it. Sometimes these things were parked when the engines were bad, hopefully not. Oh, that's beautiful. You know, you gotta expect in a race car, it's gonna be a little rich. And that one is, but really no problem. There was no plug wire on it, but I'm not worried about that. Okay, I'm just gonna line them up. Nice with no fender wells. <laughs> so this plug wasn't even finger tight. And there is a little bit of rust on it. A little bit. That was uh, the first one on the passenger side. That would have been number two. Oh, that's gonna be hard to get to. Yeah, this is always the most fun when you have headers is this one. Oh boy. Oh boy, wow. Yeah, this one's gonna be a treat. I'll probably just have to use a wrench on this. I don't, yeah, I can't get a socket on that, so let me get a wrench. So rather than using mister oil in this, since it's not seized, I'm just going to try this stuff. Fill up the cylinders good with this. Um, I think it's this stuff is super slippery, so I think this will be great for this application. This stuff is called 
Cree oil. And I've been turned on to it lately and I really like it. It's just super, super slippery. I don't know where my saw is. Man. Your saw, but I, I'm not sure we brought it, but. Yeah, I don't think we did. We have the machete. <laughs> if you want to try. Yeah. And I may. Yeah. Let's see what I we may. have here. Now, I just want to let you guys know, I'm going to turn this around so you can see it. So, Richard really liked this Cree oil, and um, so we actually have a case of that headed our way. And, um, yeah, so we're going to pick some viewers and send you a can or two just because, well, without you, we wouldn't, we wouldn't have a channel. So, we're going to try to... Uh, give out uh, some gifts here and there when we can, uh, just to show our appreciation. This one's interesting. Oh, that is? Yeah, that one's uh, been running much more lean than the rest. Not bad, but it's not followed, carbon followed like the rest. Now, why would that be? I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to say something bad, like there's an intake manifold leak on this side, but it is odd that one particular plug is leaner than the rest, um, but it could also mean that all of them on this side are going to be a little bit lean. So now I'm interested to see the next one. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That one's almost perfectly burning almost perfect not that interesting oh it's a lawn chair <laughs> yeah it's an alabama oh be chair. careful <laughs> <laughs> Well, this branch already fell part of it. Yeah. But it's a little dangerous in here for falling branches. Good thing nothing hit this car. That would have been a shame. Yes, I agree. This thing's a piece of history. Mm. The wheel on the ground here. Ah. Old bullet hole wheel, but steel. Steel bullet hole. really cool if there was some stuff in there about some races it was in. Yeah. Wouldn't that be neat? Wouldn't it be cool if there was a trophy in there? No, oh, that would be cool, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, to have some idea of the history of this car would be neat. Right now we're a little in the dark. Yeah. The washer was just rusted on. Get that off pretty easily. Oh man. Well. Look at that. <laughs> um, that is a rat's huge rat's nest. Yeah. Above the fuel cell. Yeah. All right, I'm going to have to clean that out. Mm -hmm. Wow, we look at the floor of this trunk. Yeah. You know what's interesting is that we now know the difference between a rat's nest and a mouse house. Yeah, I mean, this, That's this is a rat's mansion. Yeah, a rat's mansion. This is a rat's right. mansion. Mm -hmm. I mean, hopefully nothing's in there. We'll, well find out. If it is, I'll let you know if it runs out. I don't want to breathe that stuff in. You know what would be cool? Is if it, a mouse ran out like it did on the, no, the Marauder? No, if someone drained this fuel cell. 
Oh, that would, that would be nice. This looks like a homemade fuel cell to me. Here's the battery tray, right here. Okay, here's the ground, we've been looking for that. Oh, be careful. That's the plus. Okay. But while we're in here, let's take the cap off the fuel cell. I don't smell a thing. Oh, really? That Nothing. Would be fantastic. Yeah, I don't smell a thing. You know what I'm kind of surprised over? What? I mean, I haven't seen the all of the bottom, but I'm surprised that there's no rust back there. True. True. Do you feel anything? I don't dry. see anything. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> it's dry. You know, it's not unusual that people do that, right? At the end of the season, they drain the fuel cells and they drain the engines of the water that's in them. That's dry. I wonder what this is for. <laughs> right here in the trunk. But that's dry. Well, that's pretty awesome. All right. Okay. Let's get the battery. Thought we'd check under here. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, based on what I see in here, good. It looked, based on what I can see, it looks like stock rockers, as you might expect. All right, battery. Before battery, I'm gonna cut this thing down. <laughs> good. I don't think I had it, but I do. Okay, so he's going to do a little more trimming. Honey, why don't you ever do this at our house? Because we don't have cars covered by it in our house. If we did, I'd most certainly be out there cutting. So I just need to move the cars, is what you're saying? You need to put one of these in our backyard. Now that we'll have the grass mowed like you've never seen before. Ah, I see. All right. We're going to hook the battery up, but of course we're going to do the smoke test. No spark of any kind. There's some switches inside. I imagine one's ignition. I don't know what the second one is. I still don't see any smoke. Okay, no starter action. Nope. Nope. We'll put the trigger on the starter. This is a very long battery cable. Very long. This is probably why it's not kicking over. This is the start wire that goes to the start terminal and starter and it's shot. It's eaten away by something. So I'm gonna fix that. So we're gonna disconnect the battery. So the wire that was shortened out here actually goes to the accessory part of the starter. I'm not sure what it is. It goes into the harness. I'll figure that out later. Um, I thought maybe it had an electric fuel pump, but it doesn't. So the feed wire is just sitting here. This is the start wire right here. It's literally just sitting here. I don't know why, but I'm just going to run my trigger to it. And I ran this blue wire all the way back to the battery. 
So with any luck, my trigger will turn this thing over. This is a big moment because this starter, who knows, it's it's been in here a long time and who knows the condition it's in. All right, here goes nothing. No. <laughs> I can't believe it. I don't want to see this. Beautiful. So what, what Beautiful. did I see moving down here? Uh, you just see Cree oil coming out of the... the uh, oh, can you the, start that again? Yeah, we don't want to kill the battery. Yeah. Oh, oh You're okay. seeing Cree oil come up. Okay. Um, next step, clean up the plugs and put them back in. <laughs> Check under the cap and we'll see, we'll see what happens next. Just finishing up the plugs on this side. They're clean. Going back in. Moving on to the other side. Putting a little lube on the threads. Just so they won't be such a bear to get out next time. I think this tree needs to come down. Aww. I, yeah. thought, I thought it added, you know, effect. What it adds is difficulty. <laughs> <laughs> I always bring a saw. I had no idea this car was here, but I brought the saw anyway. That one's pretty big. Yeah, it is. That's been more work than this car has. Yeah, I know. That's kind of scary. That means it's coming. Positive the hard work thinking. is coming. Positive thinking. Look at that. It's amazing to me how nice these plugs are compared to the other side. I mean, it's perfect ash color. Perfect. And the other side is carbon fouled. I mean, look at that. Amazing. Amazing. Okay, this one's going to be tough. The header is right in the way. Make sure my hands are nice and dry because if I drop a plug under this thing, it's gone. It's gone. Well, just think, once we get those in. And we hook up fuel. Yeah. Check check under the cap and then hook up fuel. It's gonna be, it's gonna be exciting. Oh man, are you kidding? Come I on. remember the other Chevelle. Boy, it wasn't anything like this one. Yeah, that starter wouldn't even turn, right? Is that right. I remember? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you are having a tough time on that. Yeah, I knew I would. Yeah. I was prepared mentally. Well, the Chevelle we did in September was that what the headers were causing you grief, but it was it because of the starter? I can't remember. Yeah, mostly the starter. I mean, it made the plugs a challenge, but it was mostly the starter. Got it. There you go. Got it. And that was the hard one? Yeah. All right, well, the next one should go pretty quick. Yeah. Yep, under the cap next is a lot of junk in these screws. So typically, I'm not expecting to find anything bad in here, but sometimes you see some kind of leaves and stuff that causes the rotor to break if you spin it. Oh, wow, babe, there's a lot under there. Is there? Yeah, I mean, I okay. could just see it. For a well, second, good but... thing we're taking it off. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, wow. What's it look like under the wow. cap? Yeah, that's pretty bad. Yeah. That's wow. Strange. 
Yeah, that's, boy, it's a good thing we took What's, this off. Yeah, let me see under the cap. I think, do I need to come over your way? Yeah, yeah. Does it, did you see under there? No. Let's see what that looks like. Not bad. Yeah. Not bad. What is that stuff on the it side? It all came up from here. It all came up from here, that corrosion. Yeah, but this, this cap looks fine. So we'll yeah. clean this out. That road has got to come out. Yeah. So we were thinking about how this dirt got in here and then it dawned on us. It's a dirt track car. It was probably just dirt kicked up while racing. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. But I mean, that's the only thing that makes sense, right? Yep. Hopefully the module's still good. I carry a module with me anyway, but hopefully this one's still good. But this, we're gonna have to clean this out. We can't try to start it with all this junk in here. And I'm gonna clean this rotor. Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, it's bad. Oh. It's bad. Beautiful. Better? Yeah. <laughs> The, uh, the advanced strings, as you can imagine, are pretty stuck. See that? They're supposed to snap back. And they're not snapping back right. They're snapping back real slow. So I'm going to clean that up before we continue. All right, this is how it's supposed to work. Yeah. Okay, so we're good there. Cap's going back on. One step closer. Yeah, we're getting there. We are getting there. Uh, why it was missing, so I'm just cleaning it because it was pretty dirty. Okay. Now, what about the ones where, like the one that's chewed here? We've got some spares right here. Uh huh. We are going to use. Okay. And these are perfect. These are absolutely perfect. Now, how many do you need to replace? Have two. You, just two. Yeah. Okay. I'm just hooking up the plug wires. Now, have you looked inside the carburetor at all? Yep. It's pretty bad. Oh, it is? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, this, this gas line is like steel, only it's supposed to be rubber. It's very, very old. Wow. Okay, that's off. All right, I'll leave that off for now. All right, let's get the spark checker. Yeah, one of them is for attack and one's for the 12 volts. Okay, this one. So this one, oh, it's not connected, or is it? Oh yeah, it is. It's this big honking wire here that's got, that's poorly spliced. Wow, that's terrible. That's terrible. Is it the one with the tape on it? It's this one here that's got this crazy splice oh, on I it. I see that. Yeah. That's, that's plus to the coil. Oh. All right, I need to do something with that. And then this is the trigger for the starter. Right here. Right, isn't that what I said? Mm -hmm. So I need to hold this here. Yeah. So watch that spark, spark checker and see if we get spark once I hook it back. Okay. 
You ready? Yep. All right. I don't think I'm about, getting anything. Yeah, don't look through the camera though, because I think I saw it. Oh, okay. Just look straight on. Okay. Okay, this I did see it that time. Yeah. yeah, it was, but I just saw one. Yeah, well, it's turning slow. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, how's that? That jump box isn't charged, right? No. Yeah, because this is such a long way to go. We're not getting much amperage to that starter now that the plugs are in it. Yeah. But. We've got spark. Yes. So let's try a little gas. That was a little too easy for the spark. Hmm. Wow. This is crazy. Yeah. This is well, crazy. Well, it's either it's our two problems are normally carbon starter. Go. I can't believe this. Okay, if we had a better battery, I think it's going to start it's immediately. It's going to start anyway. I know. I just can't believe it. It's going to start anyway. It's I know, Let's right? Let's hook some fuel up to this baby. Oh, my goodness. This is awesome. <laughs> Okay. All right. Putting some fuel in. Now we don't know if the float's working. We don't know anything at this point. Yeah. But we do know it fired, which is unbelievable. Yeah. And if you're new to our channel, these are kind of like good luck items we've used for, for years. Our milk container. <laughs> Ready? In the funnel system. I'm ready. We have our good luck in place. Gotta hook the battery up. Okay. If you didn't forget to hook something up, that would be bad luck. Do you think it was the car, but the float's not working? Ah, Let's go down, knows. need more gas. It's probably the float. Look might at the be smoke. Stuck. Oh my God. Can you believe it? No, I can't. I can't either. <laughs> because I don't know. We, we got some different numbers, but I feel 20 years is a safe bet. Been sitting here for 20 years. Could be 25. It sounds so good, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try that again. Um, does this have an oil pressure gauge in it? I don't know if that was still it there does. or not. It does. It, it's in very bad shape, but yeah. it might. Oh no, it's broke. Okay. It's, the, the line's broke, so we, we need to watch this and see if oil squirts out, because that's the line to it. But this will tell us if we have oil pressure. That's for sure. So, wow, this 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 thing's in really bad shape. What's that? This oil line. Oh. Um. It's in really bad shape. It just keeps breaking every time I touch it. So. I'm gonna try to melt the end of it, but I have to be really careful because there's leaves all over the place. <laughs> yeah, that would be bad. Did it. 
said you do or you're not or you don't huh you it did work or yeah you, it looks like it did looks okay. like it sealed it right off all right let's start it again yeah yeah <laughs> yeah stuck I'm ready yeah <laughs> in the funnel wasn't going down at all it and then it started yep. to yep. and then you filled it up so at first i think the float was um maybe in stuck but it's yep. unstuck i think i think it's, it's unbelievable unstuck. it's unbelievable it's unbelievable i cannot believe well let's air the tires up <laughs> the fuel pump's working so yeah i'm gonna hook the uh howard tank to the fuel pump i think it's a great idea yeah and so i do want to see to put some coolant in it yeah oh yeah but i want to see um what will hold air and what won't and then we can come back tomorrow and see what held air and then let's let's pull it out of here what I do you think it, <laughs> awesome do you think that's a good idea you want to try to pull it out of here tomorrow i think anything having to do with this car is a good idea okay <laughs> All right. oh you want to wire the the gas on there and what else the did fuel you... pump's working yeah what else were you did you want to do on here did you say there was something back here yeah. want to put coolant in it coolant that's right of course it's starting to get a little chilly again it is yeah well we're in the shade here but yeah it's starting to get a little chilly So we're going to start it up again? Yeah, we're going to try the fuel pump. We've got gas hooked up to it here. Did you hook the battery up? No. Okay. <laughs> Go on, Richard, say it. It's my trademark. Wouldn't be a video if you no. didn't forget to hook something up. Hey, That's I'm safety what he meant. conscious. Right, you are. <laughs> We're going to try to put air in these tires. This valve stem was underground, so I don't want it to stick, so I'm putting a little oil in. I don't know if that will help or not, but it's not going to hurt, given it was underground. It's coming up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
can see when it comes up. Oh yeah, isn't that crazy? Yeah. I'm not trying to fill it full. Just trying to get enough in it to see if it'll hold. I hear it. No, that's this. Oh, it is? Yep. Are you sure? Yep. Okay. Oh, well, no, you might be right. <laughs> you might yeah, be right. I think I already hear it coming out of that tire. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay, so that one. Let's try this one. Yeah. This one is in better shape. Let me get. We'll just stop for one sec. See if we hear that coming out. That one I do not. Go go back and see if you still hear I it. I hear from it from one. here. Oh you do? Oh, yes, I do. Dig this one out. Get the other. But this valve stem's not underground. It's well, just above good. ground. But the bead on all these has been underground. So it's always touch and go when the bead's underground. Yeah, it's taking air. Mm -hmm. I don't hear anything. No, I don't hear anything on that one. You might be lucky. All right. Three down. We had number to the last one. So the last one... It's real bad. The tire's real bad. and no, I'm, it's I way underground. Yeah. And I told Richard to watch out because this limb right here is literally just, just hanging in there. So watch out that you don't hit me with that, okay? Yeah. It's way underground. It is. Yeah. So I don't, you know, the front side looks okay, but I don't know what the back side looks like. Yeah. It's way underground. So let's find out. I don't know about this one. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's doing anything, does it? I mean, I. Are you sure the air got in there? Yeah. Could this? Let could something be wrong with the stem? I didn't see it raise up. Anymore. No, that's the thing. It's like it's pouring right out as soon as we put it in. Yeah. Okay, I see it moving now. It's moving now. Okay. It's still going up, yeah. It is, yes. Slightly. No, it's going up. It's good. I don't hear. I don't hear anything. No, I put some more in there. Can you put a little more in? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's coming up. It's coming up. Yeah, you can, you can start to see the hole right there where it's, it's rising up. How much is in there, does it say? 10 pounds. 10 pounds. That's not very much. No, it's not. We may be getting low on air in the tank, too. That was a pretty big tank. I don't know. 
All right. Well, we'll see what happens, right? Even a better shot, Dave. Yeah, so uh, well, I'll go over there. Richard um, pointed out that since we aired up the tires, uh, that, yeah, the, the frame's off the ground. Yeah. Which, the I, off the ground, the yeah, and, off I, the ground. and I had recorded that uh, for you guys to look at when we first started. So, yeah, let me yeah. come down this way. Oh, wait, look growing. at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Boy, you can definitely see that, strong, can't you? We're wrapping up for the night. This has been an incredible day. Look at this thing. It looks completely transformed from when we got here. Three of the tires are up and holding air. Starts right up. What a day. What an unbelievable day. Good morning, everyone. So it is day two and we are back at the Chevelle and we have, what is it? We had the radiator hose. Yeah, so we've got the radiator hose and we're trying to come up with a tire. We're gonna put some more air in the other three remaining tires and Richard is gonna drive this baby out of here. So let's get to it. All right, babe, how you feeling about this? Um, well, it's, it's real interesting because the hose, if it comes straight out, it hits the fan. So I'm gonna to have to route the hose over the shroud and try not to kink it in the process. I don't know if someone, someone must have put this radiator in. Um, well, I, I really don't know. Maybe someone had some kind of weird elbow and that's why this is cut out. Mm. That's really strange. All right. So one thing I've noticed is when you come out to look at a old car that's been sitting, um, you never find just one. You know, here we have a, a frame, you know, up to something. Richard probably know, I don't. There sits an old Packard. I looked inside and oh, I can imagine in the day it was, it was beautiful. Um, and where did I, oh, I don't know if you guys can see back past the Packard, but there's a, I don't know if it's just the, the front part of the truck or a whole truck, who knows. And then over here, I have to be careful where I'm walking, is, A 1952 Chevy that looks like Lula, my 1952 Chevy. And I looked inside and it's really nice. You could tell someone um, actually redid the inside. And for whatever reason, I'm not sure what happened, but it kind of sat here. I'm gonna see if I tell you what, see that tree limb? That was not there yesterday. So. Oh yeah, look up there. So I'll just put this here and see if you can see inside. But yeah, someone redid that. They did a great job. And it still looks fairly good in there. Um, and then it sit here for who knows how long. Maybe not that long. That tire, well now that tire, looks like it's been there for a long time. But this one, I don't know. I don't know what's up with that, guys. But anyway, point being, it's just funny. Because you just, you'll never find just one old car left uh, to, to rust away. You're always going to find quite a few in the same location. All right. So I'm going to go back up here and check on Richard. All right. We had to uh, custom make a radiator hose for this. It's very strange. If you come off straight... You run right through the fan. So that may be why this cutout's here on the shroud. We have to go up and over the cutout. Whew. So I had this hose and let's see, let's see if I can make it work. I think I can. It doesn't have to work like new. It's not like we're gonna be driving it too far. By twisting it, I can lessen the 
the restriction here. It's still gonna flow though, so that's the important thing. Yeah, that's good. That's good. And my hope is I can get the shroud back on like this. So I was curious as to uh, what the, the brake fluid looked like. And shockingly, I mean, there's none in, in the front, which we could see through the plastic. But, I mean, don't you think that's pretty dang all clean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's the reservoir for the front brakes. Oh, back here? Yep. So was that where the back went up front? This is the back brakes. This is the front. Okay, I thought that's what we were talking about. Okay, yeah. I got it right. I got it right. Huh. Yep, and it still seals well. That's why the fluid's in good shape. It wow. seals really well. Yeah. So, you're having a problem there. We need to find something else. It's impossible. I don't know what they used. Because you've got no room here. Yeah. So you're thinking it was some type of flexible elbow or something? Yeah, but even then, I mean, it was, yeah. Like an accordion type thing? Is that what it you think? It could have been a one of those accordion hoses. Mm -hmm. Could have been. But you can see the challenge here. Oh, yeah. Right. The shroud is way up here. Like this. Mm -hmm. You can't go straight across. You have to come up and out in that little space. Yeah. That's very difficult to do. Okay, so we're decided we're going to pull this out um, and then try to work on its drive. But we found this. We were moving things so we could uh, make room to get the, the flatbed in. Um, and I think that that was probably on the Chevelle and it just blew off and just got buried here. <laughs> we moved it. Well, I'll tell you, there's a bunch of ants that are not happy right now. But yeah, I believe that this was probably on the Chevelle. Okay, so Richard, uh, we decided that it might be safer just to pull it out because we don't know if the wheels are frozen or not. Yes. And um, so you've moved a lot of stuff and now you're back to trimming trees. Yeah, I mean, the, we can't get the radiator hose figured out anyway. We're going to need some kind of PVC elbow or something to make that work. So we're going to pull it out of here. We don't want to risk overheating the engine yeah. just for that. All right. Well, getting a little bit more free gardening from you, huh? I did it. Yeah. Oh. A stop.
that's the only wheel that's moving. The other three are, are stuck. So yeah, we made the right choice yep. to pull it out. We yep. did, we did, we made it the right one. Okay. I'm just gonna bring it up. You still filming? Yeah. Yeah, it, it doesn't have much more now. It's gonna be on. Yeah, halfway there. <laughs> yeah. being stuck is causing it to slide <laughs> well there's a lot of dirt under here too is there clearance over there on the road yeah you're good All right, so here it is. It's off. Um, it's uh, we got three stuck wheels, so there isn't enough time today to get these wheels unstuck, get get tires on it and stuff, and and uh, drive it. But we got it running. We got it off of here. Um, take one quick look around. This thing's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Back up a little bit so you can see the whole thing. Thank you very much for watching. I love this one. Christina loved it. Thank you for your support. Thank you, viewers. Thank you, subscribers. Have a good day.